Part 1. Directions. In this part, you will hear eight short announcements or instructions. There is one question for each announcement or instruction. For each question, choose the right answer, A, B, C, or D. Then on the answer sheet, find the number of the question and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer that you have chosen. We are ready to start. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 8. Now, listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 8. Question 1. And now for tomorrow's weather. Partly cloudy in the morning for London and the southeast, but overcast by midday with rain in the afternoon. Temperatures will range from 11 to 19 degrees Celsius. There'll also be rain in the north, which will quickly spread to the rest of the country. Rain will be very heavy in some areas by late afternoon, especially in western and central England, and there will be strong winds over most of mainland Britain. Question 2 Hello, this is the Lost Property Office. There's no one here to take your call at present, but if you've lost something, please listen carefully to the following message. If you've lost valuables such as jewellery, cash or credit cards, you will need to contact your nearest police station as soon as possible to make a statement. In the case of a credit card, you should also contact your bank immediately. For any other items, please call in at our office between 9am and 5pm, Monday to Friday. Thank you. Question 3. Mm, yeah, hello, yes, it's me. Look, I know I'm supposed to be in the meeting now, but something's come up. I feel dreadful about it, but oh, what a day this has been. First, my train was delayed for half an hour. Then, anyway, I could still have got there. But would you believe it, my engine's packed in, and I'm stranded here next to the motorway until the breakdown service turns up. I'm so sorry. Question 4. Late last night, thieves broke into McCannon Hall, where a collection of the late Lady Betty Baldridge's paintings, statues and antiques are on display to the public. The thieves, who disabled a sophisticated electronic security system, ignored all the less valuable paintings and pieces on display, taking only The Lonely Wanderer by Karl von Terbeck. The one-metre-high bronze figure, which stands on a marble base, is regarded as the jewel of the Baldridge collection and is valued at over £5 million. Question 5 This isn't terribly difficult, but if you're one of those people who won't even change a light bulb, just call a breakdown service. Anyway, make sure you're safely off the road with your hazard triangle in place at least 20 metres behind you. Find the jack, spanner and spare, they should all be in the boot, and check the spare isn't flat too. Put the jack in place under your car, but before you begin to lift the side of the car, don't forget to loosen the nuts on the wheel. Then jack the car up, undo the nuts, and take off the wheel. Question 6 Attention please. We would like to remind you that next Monday at 9 o'clock, we will be having our yearly staff picnic. All staff and their families are invited to attend. Plenty of food and drink will be provided for everyone, and we will be having our famous barbecue. 
We will also have our annual fun and games. Prizes include a new DVD player and a holiday. Question 7. Due to problems with the lighting, the concert has to be postponed until Friday the 22nd. The concert will also be moved from Hall A to the larger Hall C. A bigger venue means a further 500 tickets will now be available, twice the original number. Because of the extra tickets, tickets will now be priced at the lower cost of $20. Question 8. In the event of a fire, please follow these directions. Stand up and walk towards the nearest exit. Do not run and do not try to gather your things. When outside, wait for your teacher on the football field. Next week, we will have the first of our two annual fire drills. Thank you. This is the end of part one. Now turn to part two.